Hello everybody and welcome once again to Forever Stranded. In the end of the last episode I had basically got this block dispenser set up and the block detector wasn't working as I was expecting it to. Now I've also got a farm set up which I've done before but I moved it and it doesn't seem to be working correctly so let's have a quick look at that first of all. If I go inside here where I've got the cooling coils turned on if you look in the um, in the temp info you'll see that climatization is minus 10 and its season is minus 6 which means it's winter now if I come over here I've, I sort of created this sort of farm in here and I put in it a heating coil which is on but when I'm standing here the climatization is not plus 10 as it should be so for some reason it doesn't seem to be working so let's just try doing this first of all. Right click this. Now that becomes spring so it turns it off. Summer, autumn and then winter. And it's still not turning the climatization on. Which is rather strange. And I don't know why. So if I break a crop here it gets replanted. Because underneath here is some um, progressive automation one. I just do then. I wanted to click this block. And this is, uh, there's also a uh, progressive automation under here, but these are better with mods, hemp seeds, and they don't seem to be working. So in a few seconds these will die, because this doesn't seem to be working. And it doesn't matter if I completely enclose this. Let's, just, let's have a look. I need to go and get some blocks to enclose it. I've got some glass here. Let's, let's put this glass down. Not the best material to use, but... So it's now completely enclosed. So I really should get a climatization of plus 10 or something like that, unless I've missed a block. I don't think I have. Maybe the ceiling's too low. don't know. What I'll do is I'll get the glass cutter out of the bag. I've got a glass cutter in one of these bags, I think. I just picked up another one. <laughs> Very easy to harvest that. Which one is it will be in? Let's have a look. Probably I've got the glass cutter in here. Yes, I have. Good. So the extra glass cutter will quite happily break the glass without uh, losing it. So as you can see, that 48 is now 50. So I don't get what's going on in here. So um, the only thing I can do is, uh, first of all, I did this behind, actually. I did this over here. And I filled this in now and made some farm. Let's jump up on the wall. I did it here and it worked just fine. It didn't have a very great... A great range as I was expecting it to have it was a uh, because uh, I've extended this back for sheep I wasn't expecting that to uh, to to work and this is well, I expected it to work because it worked here just fine and the rabbits so I had four farms which were three by three with a space between them in this position here without the lid it wasn't built and they worked just fine and so I really don't understand what's happened there and of course, I've got eggs and sea air. Oh, and that's my GP stuff, by the way. It's actually not enough now. I have to go and increase that. But that gives you 32. Grid power. I've also been... I was, when I was doing that, I was picking up some other stuff. So let's just put that away. I think I'll put that away in these places and see if I've got anything new. Um... Okra, I think I've got okra already, yes. I don't know why I'd want to have blackberries. I haven't got any in there. Artichoke, I think artichoke's a new one actually. Because when I was breaking things, I well, look, I was finding a few new ones. Artichoke, you see that goes into there. And I might even have an artichoke seed, that's okra seed. No, blackberries are okay, so they're okay. And cotton goes in there, that's fine. And I don't think I have any more artichokes. Oh, look, I do. Yes, artichokes 12. So I must have an artichoke plant somewhere. And the rest of these I'll just put in here like that. And this okra... And I probably will need to replant this now, because I reckon I've got no... And I don't think I've got any leeks either. So let's have a quick look. Double check. Leeks. It's quite difficult to go through these. There's a lot of them. And strangely enough, you'll see in here, I've got a stick. Or oh, five sticks. And that's to make toffee apples. 
anything anything leak like in there no i don't see any leaks in there let's press shift on this if it goes anywhere it doesn't so i'll have to make a, a quick leak seed and plant that some other time when i get some space no, so I've got two seeds in there. And I don't think I've got a turnip either. I think turnips and peanuts are also new. So I'm a bit confused about that. But something I also haven't... I'll fix this as well. So this is now working. And what I did is I dragged underneath here um, some gears to here. I actually have to bring it to here. And then I put the turntable on here. So the turntable basically goes around every block and gives a redstone signal to this block detector. And I move the vacuum chest. So now, if I go and put some wood in there or something else, have a look what I've got on us. Anything useful I could use? No. Let's go and get some wood. And I've also noticed something else that's reasonably interesting. And with that, it's actually the way the way it works. It doesn't just do one block at a time, it does several. So let's just put a few blocks in here first of all. Let's put in four. And let them get processed. You see. How did that... Okay, that was a bit strange. So now I've got some, in here I've got some wooden sidings. So that's spruce sidings, I think. No, there'll be planks, won't they? Put in four planks in here. Like this. So what we'll now do is we'll put in four planks and four logs. And you'll see what it's doing is it's actually alternating, alternating between the two. And the last one. So now it's, so now it's done. And it'll keep sticking through. So in here now we've got some more sidings I reckon. Uh, where have they gone to? It'll probably be these here, spruce wood sidings. And then they go to mouldings. And it's exactly the same thing. So you can use the block dispenser for putting multiple things down. So it might be good for disenchanting. Because what you want to do here is you want to put down, say, a, a book and an item and disenchant it. And then when you've done that, you want to go basically back and um, press the button. So I'd have to figure out how to press the button. Maybe just a delay on a timer or something like that. So, right, next thing. So what do you want to do? Let's make some diamond weapons, shall we? Because the hardest bit with diamond weapons is getting these creeper oysters. So let's see how I've done that. Or diamond tools, really. So in here I've got the original mob spawner that I had got. And that was basic, based on water. Water was flowing down here into a big hole. And underneath this hole, there's a bit of lag there, there was a big drop, which is down here. And as you look down on the ladders, by the way, you go fast. There's a, there's a mod for that. And you see they drop down here, and the set of hoppers pointing into this chest, and the chest just picks up whatever drops down there, which is quite neat. But it sort of worked, but didn't work desperately well because there are so many mobs around. But he doesn't actually have that many so uh that many mobs to grind so then i changed it and i changed it to what i've half got at the moment which was lapis lily glass or lapis glass plus um the most of engineering um conveyor belts and so they were supposed to drop through here and go into that and then fall down this hole but that worked a little bit better but still not very well so eventually i've given up and in here I've got a, a fuel, ta uh, a fluid tank with some nutrient distillation in there, a killer joe that should be turned on, and at the back I've got some. Let's have a look if I can just see it. I've got a spawner. Let's just turn the spawner on and turn the killer joe off. And we should see. There we are. There's a creeper going around there. You can see a creeper, and it says no soul something. I can't read what it says. And in here I've got a chest of things which have been picked up. So I've got some heads and bit, bits and pieces from mobs which just happen to fall in there or spawn in there during the time I'm doing stuff. So here we have some two creepers. So let's go and deal with them. 
The first thing I need is a pair of shears, strangely enough. Oh, I've got my shears, yes, I've got some egg dark shears in here. Let's get them ready. And just come up to the screen pressers too, so I want to roll some more now. So I right click these, you get these creep roasters. And there you are, so you've got two creep roasters. There should be some more over here. And when you've when you've sheared them, they're not they're no longer creepers, they're sheared creepers. So I can reach that guy. There's another one in there somewhere. Can't reach them all. I probably duck, moved around. So then what I want to do is I want to take my sword and just finish them off. So that's sheared creeper. And that's a creeper, so we can share that one. Oh, in fact, let's get shared creeper. Let's get rid of him. One more. Creeper, share him. And kill him. We've got a creeper and a shared creeper. Let's just go share him. should be about enough so I've got three oysters actually I've got a lot more oysters they'll have appeared in here so we've got seven any more creepers in here one creeper now when I finished doing that all I need to do is turn on the killer Joe like that and anybody in there will get finished off so we can actually see that happening and this light in here is a lapis is a lapis light and what that does is it allows you to see and the, but it's still dark for the mobs it's not showing up as dark you see there's two more creepers i'll get out of the way because you can see me but he's gone so now i'll turn this off and we'll have some droppings in there but we won't get the uh let me get a shed creeper or is that something from before we get some xp in Cactus. Oh, that must be from Cactus. There must have been a. Uh, what happened there? Probably an Enderman. Robbing some cactus or a, a mob. I don't know how it got picked up. So we've now got these creep oysters. So we can come in here and we can take some diamonds. How many do I need? I've got eight. And we can take some iron ingots, which I won't have in there. I might have some in this chest, actually. I like to keep a few around. It looks like electrical steel tins. Oh, I've usually... Yeah, okay. Let's go and get some of those. I think that's eight. And the recipe, basically, is just all of these put together like that and then you get your diamond ingots and then with your diamond ingots which you've got into this chest you can then do what you like with those so you can use those as a straightforward diamonds to make tools armor basically tools and armor isn't it your diamond sword isn't any better than the standard diamond sword so we won't use that one so that's how to get diamond armor took a while to figure it out actually so that's why I bothered to actually show it. I'll get rid of this XP and we put it like that. And I can also get rid of the XP on here as well. So let's just push all my XP into there. So I've not got any. So if I die, I don't lose my XP, which is also not a bad thing to do. So next on the agenda, I wanted to look at this, didn't I? This is my fish farmer. This is a relatively early game because it's not very expensive. It's one iron door. And you get three iron doors for six ingots. So basically, you need six ingots of iron. You need two trip wire hooks, and you get two for one iron. And you need a hopper, which is here. So you need five for that. So in a total of about a dozen iron, you get this. And behind here, there's actually a, a note block, which you can't see. And underneath here, I've got a hopper duct. Because in the standard build, you'd put the chest here. You can't put a chest under a slab in this mod pack. I don't know if that's a forged thing or just a standard. And when you've been fishing for a while, you end up with basically this sort of stuff. So there's plenty of fish. And you also get a few enchanted bows and a few enchanted fishing rods and a few books. 
In fact, you won't get that one. Those will probably be ones I've picked up from before. But these you get efficiency three. These are level 30 books. So steel of five out of four and some protection flame sharpness books. Well, they take quite a long time to come out in here. In vanilla, it works a lot better. But you also get reasonable amounts of fish, lily pads, seaweed, which is actually a snack. I wonder. I've not seen seaweed before. So I wonder if we can actually do anything with that. Do we get a seed? We do. Hmm, interesting. Maybe I have to plant that. See what happens. So to fish, basically all you have to do is to come along here, take your take your fishing rod, and then simply right click this or hold the right click and hold the right click above the door. Like that. And you see the note block behind it. And that absorbs it. And you see reasonably fast you'll catch some fish. Especially when you've got an enchanted a fishing rod, like I have. It hasn't got mending on it yet, but it doesn't cost that much in terms of XP to repair it. So, when it's a blood moon and you've got nothing else to do, we might as well come and do a bit of fishing. That's my view. So it's quite good fun. There we go, another one. I've got two more fish. When I'm finished, I right-click somewhere else, and it basically puts the trip wire back. And then we should have got... What did we catch in that particular thing? I think it was a redfish, raw perch. I'm not 100% sure. But you get ordinary fish as well. And you can convert these to those. And of course you can eat these. Each one of these have got food values. And they also have uses it, usages. So we can have a look on the usage of these. So you can make large meals like a California roll. And we'll see we did it. And avocado. I haven't got avocado yet. Or you can make a, a fish dinner, which has got pretty good food. That's what we got in the fish sandwich. That's pretty good as well. That's fairly cheap. Sushi. That's also got a lot of saturation in it. And a fish bait trap. Which you can use that. Fish sticks. An ocelot bait. Oh, okay. Oh, we don't need any. Ocelot. So that's basically what you could do with the fish. It's pretty useful actually to start with. Now, what else did I want to show? So I've been through the farm. I was playing with the block placer. I don't understand what was going wrong with that last time. I really had got troubles with this one. It should have worked and I don't know why it stayed on either. Because when you actually put a block in front of it, and I haven't got any with me. Of course, as usual, pick up a block. And in fact, let me push my fishing rod away. If I can get inside. And here I've got some villages. And I want to actually build a village with these villages. And these are all the droppings I've got from witches over time. <clears throat> Let's have a quick look in this chest. So it's been a few days since I've emptied out this chest. As you can see, it's pretty full. And what's good is you get some quite decent... Um, enchants on this armor so it's, it's quite good to disenchant that you get lots of heads as well and a reasonable amount of xp and some sugar don't care about the sugar i don't care about the carrots got plenty of those i'm not getting very much gunpowder and redstone I didn't want to have a look at that. Oh, that's this one. Actually, I think I was having a look at this to see whether I did it very well, but I don't think... I think I need to put three more sand blocks behind there to make this more efficient. Because what you do with these, if you haven't already seen it, let me take, make sure my jet plaques enabled. You start at the back, and in fact, if you look here, it's basically the, almost the very back of this. And then you push the waters forward and you bring it as much as possible underneath it again. Like that. And what I was doing to test this, I've got a capacitor bank here and I was watching the flow of charge going into it and out of it over time. I've got a mop here, but I think it's just disappeared. And you see I've got loads of stuff in here as well. Anything interesting in here, soul band, that's good. Multi-shot power. 
Actually, what I want to do is to upgrade my current bow, which is power 4, I think, to power 5, which is max. And plenty of XP. Right. I think that's probably all I want to do. I have to jump over that. Turn my jet pack off. I was thinking about using some Woot, but I've decided I'm not going to. I don't need it for anything specific. Because blaze powders you can get easily enough from um, from sieving sand or dust, I think. And you end up with a lot of these. So basically what have I got here? 22 blaze, stacks of blaze powder. So let's take a stack of that. Come along here and put these into the compressor here. If you haven't seen that before. And five of those will bring or create one blaze rod. So there's a lot of blaze rods. And they don't have that much use for so many of them as far as I can see at the moment. And the men, well, there you see, it's 59. Let that run. And the pearls I've got in, in abundance. I don't really need to worry about those. I'm going to turn off a jetpack. It's not very good for going steps. As you can see, this is full. And I've got one. And I'm going to space out and get rid of those. Give that some more fuel. And to do the fuel, I just take eight of these. Craft those and you get these tiny charcoals, which is more efficient. I need to put the tiny charcoals in there and you get one. And when that gets used, these come out. So that's all that we've got now. Can't sort. Take those out and put those back into the into here. And you'll see, oh, wrong way. You see now I've got 22 stacks of ender pearls. So I don't really need those. And I'm not sure what other mobs I need because the, the one I did do was the powered spawner at the back there for the for the skeletons into wither skeletons. So we've got plenty of heads. So I suppose the next thing to do is to go and get them, grind the wither. So until then, I'm going to think about that and I'll say bye for now.